Imagine being in a bustling airport surrounded by the sounds of excited travelers and the sight of joyful reunions. Suddenly, that joyful atmosphere is shattered by screams and chaos. A man lunges at a teenager, stabbing her repeatedly. The Miami International Airport, a place usually filled with anticipation and excitement, turned into a scene of terror on July 21st, 2024. What could drive a person to such extreme violence? How did airport authorities and bystanders react to this horrifying incident? Was this a targeted attack or a random act of madness? These questions linger as we delve into the shocking events that unfolded at Concourse J. Late in the evening, just before midnight, a 17-year-old transgender teenager was sitting and eating on the floor of the airport when the unthinkable happened. Alexander Love, a 29-year-old man, approached her with a long butcher knife and began a frenzied attack. In a matter of moments, he stabbed the teenager 18 times, targeting her arms, shoulders, neck, face, head, and legs. As the assault unfolded, the airport was thrown into pandemonium. Passengers screamed, some ran for safety, while others tried to help or alert security. The scene was chaotic, with the sound of alarms and urgent calls for medical assistance echoing through the terminal. But the violence didn't stop with the stabbing. Love attempted to push the victim over a fourth-floor balcony, a drop that would have undoubtedly resulted in even greater injury or death. Fortunately, bystanders and airport security managed to intervene just in time, pulling the attacker away and restraining him until law enforcement arrived. The victim was rushed to Jackson Memorial Hospital's Rider Trauma Center where she underwent emergency surgery. Her condition was critical and the extent of her recovery remains uncertain. The authorities quickly apprehended Alexander Love, charging him with attempted first-degree murder and attempted premeditated murder. As the investigation continues, the possibility of this being a hate crime is being explored, given the victim's gender identity. This incident has raised significant concerns about airport security and the safety of passengers in public spaces. It serves as a stark reminder of the unpredictable nature of such environments and the need for vigilant security measures to protect everyone. The tranquility of Miami International Airport was shattered just before midnight on July 21, 2024, when Alexander Love, a 29-year-old man, launched a vicious attack. Armed with a butcher knife, Love targeted a 17-year-old transgender teenager who was sitting and eating on the floor of the airport's Concourse J. The brutal nature of the attack left bystanders and airport staff in a state of shock and panic. Alexander Love's assault was both sudden and ferocious. He approached the teenager with a long butcher knife and began stabbing her without warning. The teenager, caught completely off guard, could do little to defend herself as Love's knife repeatedly found its mark. He stabbed her in the arms, shoulders, neck, face, head, and legs, inflicting severe wounds in a matter of moments. The sheer brutality of the attack suggested a level of premeditation and rage that was both shocking and terrifying. Witnesses described the scene as chaotic, with passengers and airport staff initially frozen in disbelief before the reality of the situation spurred them into action. The screams of the victim and the sight of the blood-streaked floor created an atmosphere of terror that spread rapidly through Concourse J. People nearby were thrown into a panic, their initial reactions ranging from attempts to intervene to frantic efforts to find help. The immediate reaction from bystanders was a mix of fear, confusion, and a desperate need to act. Some passengers, despite their fear, tried to intervene. They shouted at love, hoping to distract him and stop the assault. Others rushed to find airport security, their hearts pounding as they sprinted through the crowded terminal. The airport staff, trained for a variety of emergencies, found themselves confronting a situation that was both dire and immediate. The sound of alarms soon joined the cacophony of shouts and screams as the airport's security measures were activated. Calls for medical assistance blared over the public address system, summoning paramedics and first responders to the scene. 
the swift mobilization of airport security personnel demonstrated the effectiveness of their training, but the initial moments of the attack had already inflicted devastating harm. In a horrifying turn of events, love did not stop at stabbing the teenager. As if the vicious assault was not enough, he attempted to push the bleeding victim over a fourth-floor balcony. The teenager, already gravely injured, struggled to resist, her survival instincts kicking in despite her weakened state. The drop from the balcony would have undoubtedly resulted in fatal injuries, adding a new layer of urgency to the situation. Bystanders and security personnel converged on love, their collective efforts driven by a desperate need to prevent further harm. It was a struggle marked by bravery and determination. Passengers and staff, some of whom had never faced such violence, found themselves wrestling with a man whose intent was clearly murderous. They managed to pull the victim away from the edge of the balcony, subduing love in the process. The intervention of these brave individuals prevented what could have been an even more tragic outcome. The victim was saved from the immediate threat of being thrown over the balcony, but the injuries she had sustained were severe. The scene that had started with a sudden and brutal attack ended with the attacker subdued, the victim critically injured, and the bystanders in shock from the events they had just witnessed. The horrifying events at Miami International Airport on July 21, 2024 left bystanders in shock and the victim in critical condition. The immediate response from airport security and emergency medical personnel was swift. The victim, a 17-year-old transgender teenager, was rushed to Jackson Memorial Hospital's Ryder Trauma Center. The medical team acted quickly to address the multiple stab wounds inflicted by Alexander Love. She underwent emergency surgery to stabilize her condition, but her injuries were severe and her current state remains critical. The victim's family and friends, as well as the broader community, have been anxiously awaiting updates on her recovery. As the victim fought for her life, the airport returned to a tense calm. The site of the attack was cordoned off, and the usual hustle and bustle of the terminal gave way to an atmosphere of concern and unease. The incident had left an indelible mark on everyone present, highlighting the unpredictable nature of public spaces and the potential for sudden violence. Law enforcement's response to the attack was both immediate and thorough. Miami-Dade police quickly apprehended Alexander Love at the scene. He was charged with attempted first-degree murder and attempted premeditated murder. The seriousness of the charges reflected the brutal nature of the attack and the clear intent to cause maximum harm. Investigators began piecing together the events leading up to the attack. Alexander Love, a 29-year-old with no prior known connection to the victim, was scrutinized for any possible motives. Authorities were particularly interested in whether this was a hate crime, given the victim's transgender identity. Miami-Dade police spokesperson Angel Rodriguez noted that detectives were considering all factors, including the possibility of bias-motivated violence. The investigation included reviewing Love's background, examining any potential hate group affiliations, and interviewing witnesses to understand his behavior and statements leading up to the assault. The police also worked to reassure the public that they were doing everything possible to ensure justice for the victim and to prevent similar incidents in the future. Public statements emphasized their commitment to a thorough investigation and the importance of community support in bringing perpetrators of violence to justice. The shocking attack at Miami International Airport has sparked a comprehensive review of airport security protocols. In the immediate aftermath, questions were raised about how such a violent act could occur in a heavily monitored and secured environment. Airport authorities, alongside law enforcement, began examining existing security measures to identify any gaps that may have allowed the attack to happen. One of the primary areas of focus was the effectiveness of surveillance systems. 
While cameras and monitoring devices are standard in major airports, the response time to incidents and the ability to detect unusual behavior before it escalates into violence were scrutinized. The airport management initiated an audit of camera placements, real-time monitoring capabilities, and the procedures for responding to emergencies. Additionally, there was a renewed emphasis on the training of airport security personnel. Ensuring that staff are not only prepared to handle typical security breaches, but are also equipped to respond to sudden and violent acts is crucial. Enhanced training programs, including simulation exercises and emergency response drills, were proposed to improve the readiness of all airport staff. The incident also led to discussions about the accessibility of weapons in public spaces. While Miami International Airport, like all major airports, has stringent security checks in place, the fact that Love was able to carry a large butcher knife undetected prompted a reevaluation of screening processes. This included considering more thorough checks at different points within the airport beyond the initial security screening areas. Passenger safety measures were also addressed. Proposals included increasing the visibility of security personnel in all areas of the airport and implementing more frequent patrols. The presence of uniformed officers can act as a deterrent to potential attackers and provide reassurance to passengers and staff. The aftermath of the Miami airport stabbing has been a period of intense scrutiny and action. The immediate medical response was critical in saving the victim's life, though her road to recovery remains uncertain. Law enforcement's swift action ensured that the perpetrator was apprehended and brought to justice, while the ongoing investigation seeks to uncover all aspects of the crime. Meanwhile, airport authorities are taking significant steps to enhance security measures aiming to prevent such a tragic event from happening again. The incident stands as a sobering reminder of the need for constant vigilance and improvement in public safety protocols. The victim of this horrifying attack is a 17-year-old transgender teenager in the midst of transitioning from male to female. Her journey has been one of courage and resilience, navigating the complexities of gender identity in a society that is still grappling with acceptance and understanding. Known for her vibrant personality and determination, she has been a beacon of hope and inspiration within her community. The attack has raised significant concerns about whether it was motivated by her gender identity, as such crimes often stem from deep-seated prejudice and hate. Friends and family describe her as a kind-hearted individual who had dreams of advocating for transgender rights and creating a more inclusive world. This brutal assault has not only inflicted physical wounds, but has also posed a severe psychological and emotional toll on her and her loved ones. The community, already aware of the challenges faced by transgender individuals, is now rallying around her, offering support and solidarity during this incredible difficult time. The incident at Miami International Airport has drawn significant media attention and public outrage. News of the attack spread rapidly, with social media platforms becoming inundated with messages of support for the victim. Hashtags such as hash justiceforer and hash stoptranchate began trending, as people from around the world expressed their shock and condemnation of the violence. Public figures, activists, and organizations advocating for LGBTQ plus rights have also voiced their concerns, calling for justice and more robust protective measures for transgender individuals. The outpouring of support includes not only emotional encouragement, but also calls to action for legislative changes and stricter security protocols in public spaces. Vigils and rallies have been organized in various cities, highlighting the widespread impact of this tragic event and the urgent need for societal change. 
In response to the public outcry, Miami-Dade police and airport officials have issued statements assuring the community of their commitment to safety and a thorough investigation of the case. Miami-Dade police spokesperson Angel Rodriguez emphasized that the investigation would explore all potential motives, including the possibility of the attack being a hate crime. Authorities are keenly aware of the implications of this attack and the need to address the broader issue of violence against transgender individuals. Airport officials have also addressed the incident, expressing their deep concern and outlining steps being taken to review and enhance security measures. They have committed to working closely with law enforcement to ensure that such incidents are prevented in the future. The airport's management has also reached out to the victim's family, offering support and assistance during this challenging time. Miami-Dade Mayor Daniela Levine Cover released a statement condemning the attack and reaffirming the county's dedication to protecting all its residents regardless of their gender identity. The mayor called for unity and compassion, urging the community to stand together against hate and violence. Reflecting on the horrifying event at Miami International Airport, we are reminded of the unpredictable nature of public spaces and the urgent need for robust security measures. On July 21, 2024, a peaceful evening turned into a nightmare when Alexander Love viciously attacked a 17-year-old transgender teenager, stabbing her 18 times and attempting to push her over a balcony. The immediate and effective response of bystanders and airport security prevented further tragedy, but the incident has left an indelible mark on the community and highlighted significant gaps in airport security protocols. This attack underscores the importance of standing against hate crimes and ensuring the safety of all individuals, regardless of their gender identity. It is a stark reminder of the vulnerabilities faced by transgender individuals and the devastating impact of hate-motivated violence. The victim, a courageous teenager in the midst of her transition, represents countless others who face similar threats every day. It is imperative that we, as a society, show our support and solidarity, not only in moments of crisis but consistently in our daily lives. I encourage all viewers to stay informed about incidents of violence and hate crimes. Educate yourselves on the challenges faced by marginalized communities and be proactive in supporting victims of violence. Advocate for stronger security measures in public spaces to ensure that such tragic events are prevented in the future. This includes pushing for comprehensive training for security personnel, improved surveillance systems, and stringent screening processes. Moreover, support legislation that protects the rights and safety of transgender individuals and other vulnerable groups. Engage with local and national organizations that work tirelessly to combat hate crimes and promote equality. Your voice can make a difference in creating a safer and more inclusive world. Let's come together to make a stand against violence and hate. By doing so, we honor the bravery of those like the young victim at Miami International Airport and ensure that their struggles lead to meaningful change. If you found this video informative, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest true crime stories. Let's create a community that stands against violence and supports justice for all. Your engagement helps spread awareness and drive change. Thank you for watching and stay safe.